Good morning, and thank you for joining me on another episode where I take a book and from that book I find a bar. Now a bar is a short, valuable nugget of information for us to feed our minds. This is Breakfast Bars! Breakfast Bars! Breakfast Bars! This is Breakfast Bars! Welcome back. We got another episode of Breakfast Bars. Today, we're going the money route again. Money books are so important to overall life as well. I mean, if you want to be good with money, you got to be able to manage money. If you want to manage your money well, you have to understand it. Same thing applies to life. If you want to live a good life, you have to be able to manage your life well. And in order to manage your life well, you have to be able to understand it. So money books are not only good in the sense that to help us understand money and how we can use our money, make our money work for us, but also just the overall life principles it gives there as well so today's book is a classic classic money book I would I think it's safe to say if you're if you haven't got into reading about money at all and how to manage your money this is the book to start with rich dad poor dad by Robert Kiyosaki here it is Really interesting take. He essentially says that he grew up with a rich dad and a poor dad. The rich dad taught him how to properly think about money, to make it work for him, and to uh, have it grow, versus his poor dad, which had all the wrong mindsets about money, how to get money, and what to do with it when you've got it. So... Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we find. Here we go. I had to skim through like actual investing strategy type stuff (laughs) Um, and to focus more on how we can feed our mind with bars here so this is the bar today page 184 the single most powerful asset we all have is our mind if it is trained well it can create enormous wealth seemingly instantaneously an untrained mind can also create extreme poverty that can crush a family for generations. So with this, he's really talking about kind of that poor dad, rich dad distinction, where the poor dad had an untrained mind, not just in money, but in life, how the way he thought about life, which carried over the way he thought about money. Versus the rich dad, who had very well trained mind that allowed it to carry over into the money side of it looking at life properly and then looking at money properly it's going to be very hard to excel in either one if it's going to be very hard to excel in life if you don't know how to manage your money and vice versa it's going to be very hard to excel monetarily if your mind is not in a good spot for how you're living your life. The two go hand in hand. Yes, there are people who can make absurd amount of money that aren't aligned in life, sure. But that's not what we're going for here and that's not the aim because that's not a good way to live. That's not a healthy way to live. You need balance and everything. You need 
focus, you need drive, you need purpose, and you need to just ultimately be a good person at the end of the day. So the single most powerful asset we all have is our mind. And then he talks about training our mind. And when you train your mind well, that can create either that can create enormous amounts of wealth or if it's untrained that can produce poverty for generations to come not only yourself okay so we know what the goal is to train our mind how do we train our mind well that's what we're trying to do here with breakfast bars that's what I'm trying to do personally with reading books and that's what I want to communicate the importance and truly the return on investment of it speaking in money terms is reading is getting these different types of knowledge from different types of people that is training our mind and the return on investment is so just not even fair I mean, think about how much time someone takes to write a book. This book right here is 340-ish pages. Well thought out, well organized. It probably took them over a year. Hundreds, if not thousands of hours to write a book. And now you can go pick up all of that work that he's done for you. For $20, $30 maximum? That seems like a no-brainer to me. I, I, I truly can't think of a better way, a more efficient way for the price-wise of it to get the knowledge. And I agree that the single most powerful asset you have is your mind. So obviously he's talking, you know, you want to have assets to create wealth. But the first and most important asset that has no monetary value on it, but it's still an asset because what it can give you in return is your mind. You want a healthy, well-developed, well-equipped mind. So train your mind. Start. I mean, maybe you like money and that's a way to get into reading is focus on money stuff first rather than philosophy and principles and uh, different ways of viewing the world and uh, schools of thought. Maybe money is the way that that will help kickstart that for you, whatever it is. Audio books too. I personally like the hard book hardcover book because that's where I put that's where I get my bars from and then I can go flip through it and find it but audiobook books man we just got to train our mind that's what it comes down to um you want to be physically healthy and train your body but that's going to be nothing if you don't have a well trained mind and from that you can go develop like he says Enormous amounts of wealth, happiness, experiences with others, just everything. It all starts in the mind. So train your mind, pick up a book, audio book, watch an informational YouTube video, whatever it is for you, just do something and get the ball roll, rolling, build that momentum of training your mind. That's all I got. Take care. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode. Just a reminder, you can find Breakfast Bars on iTunes, YouTube, and Instagram by searching Breakfast Bars. On Instagram, it's at breakfast.bars. Would mean a lot to me if you left me a review, subscribed, follow, and of course, if you find value in Breakfast Bars, if you like hearing them daily, go ahead and please share it with a friend, someone you know that wants to receive some daily bars.